and recovery efforts have begun in Bertie County, North Carolina, after a deadly tornado caused by the tropical storm tore through the area. This afternoon, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper got a closer look at that damage. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton was with the governor's team and met some of the survivors of the storm. Sheriff John Hawley told me yesterday the destruction off of Morning Road looked like something out of a movie. And for the first time, we are seeing all of this damage. It is heartbreaking and indescribable. And people who are live in this area are now picking up what the storm left behind. It's hard to grasp. Mobile homes used to sit here. Now it's just rubble. That's all that's left after a tornado ripped through the area. This is devastating. To, to see what looks like, in many cases, homes exploding. And you got to believe that people had some harrowing experiences. Governor Roy Cooper saw the destruction with his own eyes, and he talked with people who are cleaning up what's left of their homes. We're going to see what we can do to help. Got to be really, really tough. I ain't never seen that like this. I don't think I've seen something like this probably been on TV way off somewhere. Stephen Swain is still shocked at what happened. He's lived here over 40 years. He just sounded like uh, empty 18 foot of trailer, like a lot of them hitting bumps. And if then closer and closer we're getting, it was just shaking the trailer. The storm killed a man and a woman and left about a dozen others injured. Swain says his aunt is one of the victims who died. It's easy to see how that happened, and you wonder looking at this devastation. Why that didn't happen to more people? I mean, we're thankful for that. We mourn those two souls. Governor Cooper says he's going to provide assistance for those who lost everything. People say they hope it happens soon because right now they don't know their next steps. In Windsor, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.